Hi guys, this is Manish and in today's video I'm going to tell you about that how you can send message between both the phones without using any internet or without using any SMS. Recently there's been report that India has now came into the top 10 where there will be many stoppage to the internet and users cannot be able to use the net for many days. So in this video I'm going to show you an app where you can communicate between your friends if they are in the range into under 300 meters to 500 meters and simply can able to send message from one phone to another phone. For this you just need to install our app by the name of the Bridgeify. In this video I'm going to even leave a link in the description of the Bridgeify app and you can easily download it and can use it into your phone. In both the phones the Bridgeify app should be installed so you are able to use it without any sort of internet. It's just a between a messaging app between the two with the help of your Bluetooth and the location surveys. To demonstrate more about this app, let me straight you take you to my mobile screen. So to tell you about it, how you can send the message without the use of the internet, you need two devices. Right now you're able to see the two devices on my hand and to make sure that I'm not being able to connect it to net, I'm switching off the Wi-Fi in my both the devices. Just make sure the Bluetooth is turned on in both the devices. So quickly, let's go to our open up the app or which is by the name of the Bridgeify, which is over here. And now again, I'm opening up the app Bridgeify in my another phone. So over here, if you don't have location enabled, it will tell you to enable location as well. Android 6.0 requires location service to be enabled in order to use Bluetooth, which Bridgeify used to find nearby offline friends. Do you want to update your location settings? I'm just enabling it in my both the devices. So in my both the devices, you're able to see the GPS and the location is being turned on. So let's quickly enable it. And I'm just coming back. So Bridgeify is running in the background. I'm just enabling it again. So over here, if I have to start a new jet and finding people near you. So this is the one of my another phone, which is I'm typing it right now. I'm just typing it. Hello. How are you? So it will be just been a delay in between a couple of seconds. And if you are in the range of 300 meters, you're able to see that now the message is coming to my phone and it's saying the user is unverified. Even if the user is unverified, I can simply type in, like oh, I have written, how are you? Fine. Are you okay? So I have been receiving message right now. Just a couple of things over here that is sometimes it doesn't been updated real time and sometimes it's been updated real time in the chat. So a little bit of bug is there, but with the help of no internet, you can simply send in any message. Suppose if you want to save your data, you can use this app and can communicate between the house and between even if your neighbor. Just remember the person should be in the range of 300 meters, not beyond that and your Bridgeify app will work fine. Since you now know that the India has come in the list where the internet has been banned very much frequently and for many days, this app can simply help you to communicate between easily between the friends. So if you like this video, give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is Manish and I see you all in my next video.